Before you start to thread the overlock machine, make sure it's switched off and open the three covers. To open the top cover, pull it to the left. To open the front cover, slide it to the right and pull it down. To open the side cover, push down on the lever and open to the left. Lift the foot by pressing the lever and swinging the foot over to the left. Starting with the lower looper thread at the right hand side, pass the thread through the hole on top of the cotton stand. Then pass the thread through the hole on top of the thread arm guide. Take the thread round the back and push through the hole towards the front. Thread through the next guide, right hand hole first from back to front. Take the thread round the back and thread through the left hand hole. Then take through the hole below it. Pass the thread through the tension plates in a clockwise direction. Then thread it through the hole below. Thread through the hole in the bar and pass through the next hole until the thread emerges below. Following the green dots, pass the thread through the next four thread guides. With the lower looper visible to the right of the needle, pass the thread under the feed dog to the other side of the needles. Now turn the hand wheel so that the lower looper is positioned to the left of the needles and pass the thread through the hole in the looper from back to front. With the hand wheel, Raise the needles so the looper is again positioned to the right of the needles and pass the thread through the eye of the looper front to back. Then place the thread to the left underneath the needles. Pass the thread through the hole on top of the cotton stand. Then pass the thread through the hole on top of the thread arm guide. Take the thread round the back and push through the hole towards the front. Thread through the next guide, right hand hole first from back to front. Take the thread round the back and thread through the left hand hole. 
then take through the hole below it. Pass the thread through the tension plates in a clockwise direction, then thread it through the hole below. Thread through the hole in the bar and pass through the next hole until the thread emerges below. Following the yellow dots, Pass the thread through the next five guides. Turn the hand wheel so the upper looper is visible. With a separate piece of thread, approximately 30 centimetres long, thread the looper. Tie the two threads together and pull through the knot. Pass the threads to the back of the needles. The right hand needle is needed for three thread overlocking when edging is required. Follow the threading for the lower looper until just below the tension plates. Pass the thread through the hole on top of the cotton stand. Then pass the thread through the hole on top of the thread arm guide. Thread through the next guide, then take through the hole below it. Pass the thread through the tension plates in a clockwise direction, then thread it through the hole below. Following the yellow dots, pass the thread through the next five guides.
Then place the thread under the horizontal metal clip and through the needle, front to back. The left hand needle needs to be threaded when full thread overlocking is required. Thread as before until the thread has passed between the tension plates. Then following the red dots, pass the thread through the next five guides. Place the thread under the horizontal metal clip and through the needle from front to back. Move the foot by releasing the lever and swinging over to the left. Place the needle wrench in the hole at the side for the left hand needle and at the front for the right hand needle. Turn anti-clockwise to release the screw. A couple of turns should be sufficient. Don't unscrew fully. You should then be able to pull out the needle. Replace with a new needle, making sure the long groove is facing forward. Retighten the screw by turning it clockwise.
then replace the fort 